I know you've uh, expressed support for universal basic income in the past in your interviews, but um, there's this guy, Andrew Yang, that wants to give everybody a thousand bucks a month with a, a VAT tax. And I think to win the Democratic primary, you got to do that. You got to give everybody nah, a thousand bucks. I got no? a better idea. No, nope. we'll do it. Nope. Uh, here's the better idea, I think. I understand that idea. I, I have a better idea. And the better idea, I think, is that in a nation in which there is so much work to be done, just think about it. You've got an infrastructure which is crumbling. We can put millions of people to work doing that. Transforming our energy system in terms of weatherizing homes all over this country, building a more efficient energy uh, transportation system, putting more money into wind and solar and other sustainable technologies. We can create millions of jobs doing that. Think about daycare. You want a world-class child care center? Well, would you let a child-sized robot watch your kids? You need well-educated, well-trained, well-paid child care workers. We need many of them. We need more doctors in rural areas and in urban areas. We need more nurses. We have a dental crisis all over this country. We need to train dentists and get them out there. We need more social workers. You want to reform our criminal justice system? Well, you're going to need people to start working with prisoners. You want kids not dropping out of high school? You're going to need mentors working with them. There is an enormous amount of work to be done. And what we believe in is guaranteeing a job in this country to anybody who is prepared to work. I think that's the better approach. Okay? All right. We take a very, you know, a different approach to Mr. Yang. And that is, uh, I believe, in a uh, jobs guarantee. There are an enormous amount of work uh, there is an enormous amount of work that has to be done all the way from child care uh, to health care to education to rebuilding our infrastructure to combating climate change. To plant trees. For you. This prototype can autonomously plant multiple trees with no human interaction. dealing with our growing elderly population. Enormous number of jobs out there.
I was wounded, and I'm a high-level quadriplegic. I have 100% limited disability. I need help with everything. He used to be very active, and now with the technology, I think that it's gonna give him a little bit more freedom. So, and that's what I wanna see. The first task we're gonna do today is opening the front door. Hi, mommy. Mine will get the door for you. Toyota is a car company, and obviously we like to make cars, but we also focus on research and development. Can we help people be more mobile? I pushed it. The robot sees its world through the myriad of sensors that it has on it. It has the ability to sense its environment in a fairly complete way. I got it. I am looking for Romy. It'll be really exciting to actually see the person that I've been developing to use the tasks for in real life, to see the expression on it. Bill, you haven't dreamt anything for two hours. Hello, Peppa. Hello. 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 <laughs> oh, dear. We can do this forever. Oh, no, we could. <laughs> the elderly population is growing. It's a real problem. And there's not enough young people to actually support that, that elderly population. So there's this demographic time bomb. <laughs> do you want to dance with me? What dance? Bill's taking to her. The assistive robot is meeting Mary. She's 83. Two years ago, she was diagnosed with severe dementia, but Mario is able to somehow wake her memory. Paraseal is a therapeutic robot that is used to engage people living with dementia. 
The benefits of the Paro Seal are that it engages the person living with dementia and it gives them the opportunity to give and receive unconditional love and in so doing increases their sense of well-being which is essential for person-centred care. I come out and interact with other residents because she gets a bit agitated. When Lee becomes agitated, we will bring out Paro um, and interact with him, talk with him, um, and it seems to just calm her down. Oh, you get me out of here. Oh. Oh. Yes. 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 Would you like to dance with me? Yes. This song is In the Mood by Glenn Miller. <laughs> Yes. Okay, wonderful. Um, did you sleep okay last night? Yes. Okay, good. So, you know, Rudy's a, a companion. He'll, you know, work on uh, talking with you and engaging you. What would you like me to do? Let's go. So here Rudy's able to help carry things for me. Um, you know, help me around the house as I'm moving throughout the day. We're leveraging the artificial intelligence within our platform to help seniors make better decisions to allow them to stay in their home, which according to AARP, 90% of them want to stay in their home. And the longer we can keep them in their home, the happier they are. And that's really what we want to do. Yes, let's carry on. Time to stretch our waist. One, two, now I'm going to tell you about one that looks like a giant bear. A company in Japan is experimenting with a nursing care robot affectionately called Robert. The cute bot is being developed to help patients around the hospital. Robert can perform tasks like lifting a patient from a bed into a wheelchair or helping a patient stand up. The robot has a number of sensors, some of which include torque and tactile sensors made of rubber. That allows for Robert to do power intensive tasks without hurting anyone. While the big bear looks cuddly, lifting him would be a feat. Robert weighs slightly more than 300 pounds. The company says the bot could be a good solution for Japan's urgent need for assisted living care. The country has a rapidly increasing elderly population. Now, why is a federal jobs guarantee better than a universal basic income? I will tell you why. Uh, a simple reason. I think most people want to work. They want to be a productive member of society. I think it's a very deeply ingrained uh, feeling that people have. They don't want to sit on the side. Yes, of course, getting a guaranteed income is better than having nothing and sleeping out on the street, that's for sure. But I think people want to be part of, you know, part of our humanity. Can you believe a simple drinking straw led to this wild brawl at McDonald's? The guy freaked out when he was informed that drinking straws were only available to customers who asked for them. Talking to me like I'm dumb. Bitch, I didn't order fries. I ordered ice cream, dumbass. So what the fuck did you say? Here, read the receipt, bitch, and tell me you the manager. And how we feel good about ourselves is when we are productive members of our society. We're contributing something. Uh, and I think people feel that very strongly. And our job is to say, if you are able to work, we have a job for you.